Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making Japanese cheesecake and I've only tasted this once before and I tasted it when we went to Houston. If you watched that video, I actually showed the cheesecake I got. We got it from like this little Asian bakery and it seemed pretty good and it was and I really liked it so I thought I would make it at home. And the recipe I'm going to be using is a Food Network recipe, and I will put it in the description below. First thing I need to do is I have my pot here, and then I have milk. Butter. Let me scoop this in here very carefully. I probably should have put the milk last. And then my cream cheese. I'm just going to cook this together until it's nice and smooth, and then I'll set it aside. You can see most of it's melted, but now I still have to wait for it to melt all the way down. So now all of it all the cream cheese and butter is completely melted and it seems pretty smooth. And I'm just going to set it aside there. And I'm assuming some of these chunks will just continue to melt since the pot is pretty warm. In this bowl I have my egg yolks and then I'm going to add my lemon juice and my vanilla. And then I'm going to whisk this together. I'm going to set this aside over here. Now I'm grabbing another whisk and in here I have my cornstarch and I'm mixing it in with my flour. I'm going to whisk this together just to incorporate it. And then I'm going to put that back. And then going back to this bowl here. I'm grabbing my cream cheese mixture here. And I'm just mixing it up a little bit. And I'm going to pour it into here. Before I mix this and my eggs together, I'm going to let this cool all the way. Because if not, it will cook my eggs. Meanwhile, that, while that's cooling... In my mixing bowl here, I'm going to mix my egg whites, my salt, and cream of tartar. Now that this is whipped into stiff peaks, as the mixer is going, I'm going to pour in my sugar. Okay, so I have all this completely done, and I'm going to set it aside for now, because that's the last thing we need. And I'm going to take my egg mixture, and I originally wasn't going to put it in the pot because I thought the pot would still be warm and it would cook it, but it's pretty much cooled down all the way since whipping the meringue took a bit of time. So I'm just going to mix it in here since this bowl is pretty small anyway and it probably wouldn't fit. I'm just using my spatula to get the rest out of here. And then I'm going to mix all of this together. And I pretty much just want to mix and whisk it together until there's no white lines left, which is pretty good now. 
And over here I have my flour mixture, and I'm going to pour this into there. Now I'm going to whisk all of this as well. So I'm going to pour in a third of this mixture into my meringue here, and then I'm going to fold that in. Also, I forgot to mention, but right now I have a pot of water boiling on the stove, so that might be something you hear in the background, but I will need that for this recipe. Now I'm going to pour in another third. Fold this together. Then I'm pouring in the last of my mixture here. Just gonna put all this in, probably scoop the rest out. So here is my finished mixture, and it seems like a lot, and I feel like it's something I've not really mixed before, so it seems pretty interesting. And then over here, I have like, you know, your traditional cheesecake pan you think you would use, uh, but for this recipe, I have my pan here, oops, and my pan here, and I have parchment paper, and then I just have these clips to hold up the parchment paper. And I have a pan below, and I'm going to put my boiling water in here while it bakes. So now I'm going to pour my mix into this pan, the parchment paper. Now I'm going to fill this pan here, not in here, but in here, with one inch of boiling water, which is pretty much my pan is like half of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes at 300 degrees, and then I'm going to reduce the oven to 250, and Bake it for about an hour and 15 minutes. So here it is, the finished cheesecake. And I have no way of telling if it's cooked all the way, but I'm supposed to let it cool for 10 minutes and then take it out of the pan while it's still warm. So here's the finished cheesecake. And it got a little lopsided over here and smushed while we were trying to transfer it to the plate. But hopefully it tastes good anyway. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I think it tastes pretty good. I'm not sure if it tastes like the exact one at the bakery because I think that was like a few weeks ago so I don't remember exactly but I think it tastes pretty nice. And it, has, it 
seems cooked well enough, pretty well, and it tastes good, really warm, because it's actually at the bakery, it, it does taste different, because this is made fresh, and nice and warm, and then at the bakery, it was put in like a fridge, and when we got back home, I kept it in the fridge too, so it was more cold, uh, but I definitely think I like it warmer, and yeah, it has a nice sweetness to it, and... Even though it's not like a real cheesecake that has like a crust and everything. The sort of top layer kind of acts as a crust a little bit. But yeah, I think it tastes pretty good. It was a little bit of a more complicated recipe and I had to do the water thing, which I don't think I've done before. But yeah, I would definitely make this again and I really liked how it turned out. Maybe not looks wise, but it tastes pretty good. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.